Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has started rolling out Edge version 118, which they actually started rolling out late last week on Friday. So, and by now, I think most would have received the update. Um, but nonetheless, um, to double check we have the update, we head up to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge, and the latest version in bold, 118.0.2. 2088.46. So if you have been using Edge on a regular basis, you would have received this update by now. But just double check, um, because obviously we are dealing with important security issues that Microsoft has addressed. And once again, they have also fixed various bugs and performance issues. So if you have experienced any issues, then um, just double check your browsers up to date, because I know that version 117, the previous release, as I have been posting, had about seven or eight bug and performance fix updates that rolled out. So we clearly hope that Microsoft now has resolved those issues in version 118. Now, over and above those bug and performance issues that have been addressed, we also get the all important Chromium open source project security fixes that have rolled out. And uh, just to do a quick recap regarding these, um, there are 20 security fixes that rolled out. And although there are no zero days, we get one critical security flaw that's been addressed, which is your highest ranked vulnerability, which is rated as CVE 20235218, so that's the CVE, and it's use after free in site isolation, and use after free are common exploits in the Chromium-based web browsers, and the other security issues that have been patched are medium and low vulnerabilities, but nonetheless, 20 security fixes have rolled out, one of those is a critical, so between the bug and performance issue fixes that have rolled out and the security fixes, just double check that your browser is up to date. Now moving on to what's new and what's changed in version 118. Now first of all, um, Microsoft says that in an upcoming update to Microsoft Edge, the Bing icon entry point in the Microsoft Edge sidebar will change to the new Copilot icon. And I actually posted on this a couple of days um, because it has been in preview. I posted on this a couple of days ago and they say that no other changes in the experience are expected. So this icon, the Bing chat icon, and because obviously Microsoft now is calling everything Copilot, uh, the Web Copilot and the Windows Copilot, we can expect the icon to more or less look like what we see now uh, for the new Copilot icon for Windows 11. Now that, as mentioned, we will expect to see in an up and coming update. It actually isn't being changed with version 118. And then something else I've noticed that hasn't been mentioned in the release notes. If we head to the split screen feature, I actually posted on this as well a couple of days ago. Um, there is a new vertical view. So if we just head to the menu, switch to vertical view, and now you can see a split screen with a vertical view and a horizontal view now. So I think this is a nice move um, in the right direction, especially if you are using split screen, which I know a lot of you do use. So we now have a horizontal and we have a split screen view with um, the split screen feature available now in version 118. Now, According to the release notes, the feature updates include, and if you are using Edge for Business, and um, Microsoft says the in-product Microsoft Edge for Business banner is being deprecated and will no longer be visible, then we've got a couple of under the hood changes taking place that don't really affect your average home user. Um, there's a new smart screen policy and also there, there are new Microsoft Edge update policies. And those are mainly affecting admins and developers and so on. But um, the so-called key highlight for Edge version 118 is the found on page has been upgraded now with AR. So it's now powered by smart, um, new smart find update to found on page as Microsoft is calling it. Now, find on page, as many of you will know, can be reached by heading to your main menu and clicking on found on page. Or you can use Control and F on your keyboard. So just to demonstrate, um, in case you're unaware what the feature is all about, you can use Control and F. And there I've just entered Edge, and it highlights all the words pertaining to Edge, and you can enter any word on that. And obviously, very handy if you are maybe doing um, research or studying and you need to highlight keywords on a page. Now, what Microsoft says about this upgrade to Find on Page, they say searching for a word or phrase on a web page has become easier with the new Smart Find update to Find on Page. So basically, they are now introducing AR into the Find on Page. They, sound, they say now when you search with found on page, we suggest related matches and synonyms, even if you misspell a word in your search query. Now, although found on page um, can be a handy feature, as mentioned, um, just take note, though, that if you are concerned about privacy, 
data is sent to Microsoft for processing. So just take note of that. And um, as mentioned, if you are concerned about privacy and don't want to use this new smart find update to find on page, it's actually quite simple to toggle off. And to do this, uh, we just head to our main menu once again. We head back to settings. This time we head over to privacy search and services. Scroll right down to the bottom of the page where you see all the different services. And now you'll see include related matches in find on page. It says when enabled, your find on page search and the web page content will be sent to Microsoft to help find better results, including synonyms, alternate spellings and answers to questions. So you can just toggle that off. And although the feature will still work, um, obviously it won't be using the new smart find update, which will be then sending data to Microsoft. So just take note of that. So that's basically the new find on page now um, powered by AI. Um, according to Microsoft is the so-called key highlight for this Edge version 118 update. And that's it, guys. That's more or less what's new in version 118. And as mentioned, this latest release started rolling out late last week on Friday. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.